today we are in Beverly Hills about to tour this $23 million brand new construction modern home right behind me. Let's check it out. So as we enter your brand new home, there is a call box to my right. We have this iron pedestrian door, this pathway that leads to the front entrance. There is a carport behind me with your driveway and the motor gate. That's where you pull in or you can pull down into your subterranean garage as well on the opposite end. Multiple ways to enter into this house. But if you wanna just walk in, enter through this front gate, you have your guests enter through the gate, walk down the stone pathway, amazing landscaping throughout. But I think it's time, let's head inside. So we just entered your brand new Beverly Hills modern home through this massive wood pivot door. There's also wood surrounding us throughout in this grand entry. You got the wood paneled ceilings with the recessed lighting. We got wood on both walls and some storage space in these drawers. Look at that, that is pretty rare, very high doors. And this is it. I mean, there's so much to show you guys in this house. I don't even really know where to start. But I guess we'll start with what's right next to the front entrance. So this is your office space. Great staging in here. They do go with the matching tones in the office desk with the wallpaper going from the floor to the ceiling. We got the recessed lighting. We got lots of natural sunlight coming into this office as well. We don't even need these lights on, honestly. Sliding stack doors go out on both ends right here. Looks out to the beautiful landscaping in your front yard, full on bathroom. Very sleek countertops with the white veins and the dark gray countertops. All right, we're leaving the office space past the front door, and now this is your family room, formal family room. I mean, first off, the architectural design in here is my favorite part as you look at the slanted drop-down ceilings with the LED lights on each drop-down as well with the built-in speakers and the recessed lighting lacing every single drop-down above us. A very unique design in here we have the fireplace on, surrounded by amazing light marble tones. Then we have all of these floor to ceiling windows, bringing in more natural sunlight, looking out to the landscaping in the front. We also have a door that leads out to the backyard, a little side yard balcony next to that glass railing. Staging in here is just very impressive and just extremely modern. Over in the corner, this is where your bar is. I mean, one of your bars. There's multiple bars throughout this house. I'm a big fan of these marble countertops with the waterfall edge right here. Gray tones throughout. You're gonna see a lot of gray, whether that's dark, light, or just medium gray as well. There's a lot of nice modern gray tones in all the finishes throughout, in all of the stone work. You can probably fit three, four people at your bar here. Sinks facing this way, the dining area, which we'll go into in a second. And there is a sliding door where you can serve people from in here in your bar. You can serve people outside from inside. And it's not the only place you can do that as well. I'll show you guys when we get to the kitchen. Built-in fridge and freezer, we got it all in here, of course. And there's just so much to see. Before we go into the dining room, let me just real quickly show you this powder room right here. There's another door that leads out to all of that landscaping. But look at this powder room. I mean, this is a very minimalist powder room with the floating vanity. Like I was saying guys, insane gray tones. Looks like the stone was just cut yesterday. That's how nice and new it is. I don't even want to touch that backsplash. You can almost see yourself. It's almost like you have a full mirror as the entire backsplash and the countertops here. Pretty small sink integrated into that stone and then a linear mirror going all the way up to the ceiling. Pretty unique light fixtures. Almost looks like movie theater light features on both sides of the powder room as well. But let's leave this space. There is just way too much to see in this house. So follow me to the dining room. This is it, your formal dining room section. Pretty sleek light fixtures in here up against the wall as well as the chandelier hanging above your dining table. This is a pretty expansive dining room. The scale is pretty wide, pretty large. You can easily fit maybe eight to 10 people at your dining table here. And you're just steps away from the outside, which we will check out very soon in a second. And one thing I wanna show you is the door right off the dining area that enters into your butler's pantry. Conveniently located steps away from the dining table, which is always nice. And as you go in here, large Sub-Zero wine fridge. We got window doors looking into 
where you can just store anything you need to serve up at the dining table for your guests. Wet bar in here. Big fan of the tiles, the white tiles that go up to the ceiling. But that was everything. Let's go past the dining room once again. And I just want to show you guys the backyard. Let's do it. So I've made it into the backyard of this house, one of the nicer backyards here in Beverly Hills for a brand new construction modern home. You can see we have the accordion doors opened up to this patio section, built in heat lamps above recessed lighting, built in speakers and glass railings that look down onto stairs that lead you into the driveway and one of the rooms for the basement. That we're gonna be checking out a little bit later, but there is also more seating, more outdoor seating as I go straight and a fireplace over there as well. But follow me down this stone path. Love the real grass, it's not even turf. It almost looks like turf. That's how well maintained this grass is. And you have this concrete path, stairs to my right, all of this great landscaping. And it's nice when, when your home path leads you to your pool, the waterfall, you got the shallow end and your Baja shelf on the left side and it leads you all the way to the corner where we have a built in fire pit views of your neighbors, downtown Los Angeles, all of the other multi-million or billionaires that are living in this community with you. If you bought this house, I mean, who knows one day hit the lottery and then hit me up, check it out. Look at the view of the house from right here. One of the bigger pools that you'll see as well. And I'm sure you can already hear it this amazing waterfall flowing from the covered patio section of your guest house right here. I mean, I can't wait till summer. This just makes me want to dive in and just be under this waterfall or hang out in a cave in Hawaii and just, you know, go on vacation or something. Live the dream right here in your house. You don't even need to go on vacation when you have a waterfall like this flowing into your Beverly Hills pool. But here's the covered patio section with a lot of day beds facing the views, the waterfall, built-in speakers here as well that can drown out the sounds of the waterfall. But let me show you this guest house. So we have these Fleetwood sliding stacked doors that open this up. You get that indoor outdoor flow for your guest house, pool house potentially. You do have a full bathroom, but let's check out the rest of this backyard. So leaving the guest house, you see more grass behind me and then more of a pathway that leads to your outdoor barbecue grill, massive wolf barbecue grill. This is just insane. I don't think it's ever been used before. It is a brand new house. Also behind the barbecue grill, we do have stairs, more stairs that lead down into your basement section and one of the bedrooms. Look at how that looks from up here. That's pretty cool. There's also a side yard that takes you to the front of the house as well. And up here, I really do like this section of the backyard. First off, built-in fridge, built-in freezer. We have these gray countertops that go out to the corner. Sink is over in this corner as well. And this is great because you can serve drinks from inside or outside. There can be a chef in there making you food, serving drinks to the people that just came out of the pool, out of the guest house. I always do like that when we have these sliding stack doors that give you that indoor, outdoor service right here, which is nice. But then we have this covered patio section with the great architecture above me, built in speakers, outdoor dining. But let's check out the rest of the inside of this main level. All right, we've entered the family area, kitchen, through your stacked accordion doors. And here's your dining area. We do have a chandelier above us with the matte black features surrounding the bronze tones as well up there. Panel, wood paneled ceilings, more built-ins above, recessed lighting, speakers, all that good stuff. Fireplace in the corner with this concrete ledge beneath it. And right above, of course, flat screen TV. I like the design of this family room. They don't just make it your standard wall with the flat screen TV in the center. It's over in the corner, kind of out of the way. So if you wanna watch TV, you can still do that in peace on your own time, kind of separate from where everything else is happening. But now we gotta show you this chef's kitchen, your luxury kitchen with the beautiful stone countertops with the gray veins, waterfall edge, built-in fridge and freezer paneled into the wall, just blends right in right there with these large chrome handles. Check that out, pure air, sub-zero fridge and freezer, only the best of the best, of course. This is your walk-in pantry area, pretty standard pantry, you know, all it's used for is stock and food so it doesn't have to be too extravagant. They put the money in the right places in this house. Right out of the pantry, we have Wolf microwave, Wolf steamer, 
Even the hood vent is clad on with the same finishes we see in all the cabinetry above. Also, you do have very sleek vents at the very top of your ceiling. And once again, the wood paneling just makes everything feel a little bit more homey, a little bit less of a cold feel to your kitchen space. Six burner gas stove, two wolf ovens down beneath me with the red knobs, always a plus. Backsplash, same as the countertops. It extends all the way surrounding us. LED lights shining onto your countertops. Just the drawer space blends in well with all the cabinet space. And now we have your sink looking out to the backyard. Like I was saying, this is where you're gonna be serving drinks, serving food to people that are hanging out in the backyard, having fun while you're in here working, cleaning dishes, serving food, you know, but at least you're in a $20 million Beverly Hills mansion. So that's always nice. But keep following me through the kitchen, powder room next to me, laundry room to my right. So here's your staircase. Right next to the staircase, we got the elevator that leads you down, leads you up, like I was saying earlier. But that was everything up here on this main floor. Now we gotta show you the basement because it might just shock you. Let's do it. All right, we've now made it down to the basement level and this is just the entertainment floor. You got the gym, you've got right behind me, first off, poker table staged over in this corner. I would definitely take full advantage of this. I'd invite all my buddies over and just host events, play poker here, you know, maybe Tuesday nights. Once I own this house, we'll play some poker. But then let's go through this door before we show you the rest of what the basement has to offer, specifically to the right, laundry room. To the left, you have a sink and just all of these nice details, built-in mini fridge as well. I love the paneling of the cabinetry right there. As we walk in here, this is a small guest bedroom downstairs, walk-in closet, and it's also en suite. We do have a bathroom attached right here. Great finishes in that bathroom. Bathtub built in as well, so you got everything. Full bath, but let's keep moving on. Now I gotta show you all the fun stuff. Okay, so we're just gonna go through everything down here in the basement level. First off, you have floor to ceiling sliders that lead out to a little open section with stairs to lead to your backyard. You get some natural sunlight coming in even though we're down in the basement, which is pretty rare to see. Looking up on the ceilings, we have these wood beams above us, built-in speakers, recessed lighting, just super open concept space throughout the basement. This is just entertaining at its finest. Pool table staged also in the center, and it's right next to your yoga room. Wish I had a pool stick right now. Probably would have made that a little easier. But now we have sliding glass doors to both sides before you enter this yoga room. A few mirrors up on the wall, fan directly in the center. You can make this a gym, a yoga studio, maybe just a massage parlor. Invite the masseuse over and just have them give you a massage in your basement, in your yoga studio. I mean, can you imagine doing that, living the absolute dream having people come over, your trainer even, your yogi, or just meditate in here. Endless opportunities down in this room and then through this way. Now this might be my favorite room throughout the entire house, which is crazy to say because there are a lot of really cool rooms in here. First off, we do have a lot of built-ins down below, built-in mini fridge, wet bar here, and we have these great sleek gray countertops. Through this door, you have Half bathroom, vanity on the left side, toilet on the right side, big fan of the textured tiled walls in a beige tone going from floor to ceiling. And we have the light gray tile beneath us as we leave. Also really do like the light fixtures in here. It's a, just a unique design, makes you feel like you're in, a, in a, some kind of cave with the dim lighting in here and all the beige and gray tones as well. As we head behind me this way, now we have your shower. Glass door to walk into the shower. Chrome shower head, chrome rain shower head pressed up against the ceiling with the gray tile above. Another rain shower head to my left and a handheld one as well. It's also a smart shower with a steamer built in on the wall. Look at that right there. Had to have the handheld shower head in my hand as usual, of course. But then we got the shower bench up against the right side, the back side of your shower. Plenty of space in here. A lot of good room for activities in your shower, never a bad thing. Some storage space up against this left side of your wall here. This is just a nice compact enclosed section where we have the shower, the steamer, and then last but not least, your full home sauna through this wood door. I mean, having a home sauna down in your basement next to your gym, is that, that's living the dream. I've already said it like three times in the last minute, but that is insane. I absolutely love this section. 
get a good workout in, get a nice steam on, sauna. What more could you ask for? But follow me out of here. This is just the living space down here in the basement. Maybe put the game on. Could you imagine a Super Bowl party down here as well? You play some poker, play some pool, watch the TV, and then you have the bar area where you can be served on these elevated countertops. Easily can seat six people on this side, then a few more over on this other side. But before we go back and check out that wine cellar, look at this room. We go through these double wood doors to lead into your home movie theater. I mean, this basement just really has it all. This is insane. To the left, we have a lot of storage space with the wood tones, and we have the handles that blend in in the same brown tone as the wood doors. Three levels for your stadium seating, large projector screen up on the wall. And then back here, this is where we have the dry bar with the same sleek, smooth finishes, as well as on the backsplash in all of this stone. And then just plenty of storage space, cabinet space throughout. Staging is incredible. We got some popcorn, some candy. Gotta try some of this popcorn. It's actually pretty good. It's pretty fresh popcorn. That's, that's unique. Normally, wow, I might have to, pretty buttery and salty too. Might have to take that home with me after this tour. But let's keep going and show you the rest of this basement. So down this hallway, this is the door that leads into that wine cellar. Look at this temperature controlled wine room. This is an amazing seller of wine. If you're a wine connoisseur, leave a comment down below. Also, try to guess how many bottles of wine are, can fit in this wine cellar because I have a rough estimate and anyone that gets it right, I might uh, DM you on Instagram, give you a prize. Who knows? You never know. But let's go out here, show you the rest of this. Follow me up these steps. To the left, I mean, look at this room. This is crazy. Door leads into the toilet room, but then this Vanity is unbelievable with the freestanding dark concrete sink above these wood shelving, the wood countertops that was just straight up. It just looks like it was cut from a tree yesterday. That is how rare this design is. You don't see that too often. And light fixtures above look like symbols as well. Another unique design. This house isn't just your typical cookie cutter, brand new modern home. This is where your garage is, brand new epoxy floors. You can easily fit about six cars in that garage. And then once you come home, you park your luxury supercar, enter your home down here. Maybe you can just live in this guest room because this is the size of most master bedrooms. First off, you have a hallway to enter your bedroom with your closet space next to me. And I like that it takes on this corner shape. It's not just your typical square room, the architecture design is very nice in here. And you have these sliding glass doors to lead out to the driveway. In here, this is your full bathroom as well. Shower, vanity, everything you need in a bathroom, but let's keep on moving. Heading up the wood staircase to the top level where your primary bedroom is. We can see the chandelier above me, very modern. And you have oversized window looking out to a balcony and your spiral staircase. That leads up to the rooftop deck. Can't wait to show you guys that because rooftop decks are normally my favorite feature in a lot of these homes, especially out here in Beverly Hills. But follow me this way. So as we head to the master bedroom, we have all of these built-ins. You have the wet bar here. I'm a big fan of the backsplash as well with the linear gray tile, three floating wood shelves above. And here we are. Let's go through this massive wood door to lead into the primary suite. We're already here. This is it. This is your hallway for the primary suite. Come on in. And as we make our way this way, first off, I don't know which way to start, honestly. We got bathrooms to my right and left. I guess we'll go this way. Through these double doors, we entered one of the primary bathrooms. Let's start out over here. We have these marble countertops with an elevated section for where the sink is. And on the right side, we have this makeup station. So this is probably the HERS bathroom with a massive oversized mirror completely up against that wall. Ceilings have these white wood beams up throughout. And then shower over in this corner. Follow me this way. We have water closet to my right with your toilet. And then this is your full walk-in closet for the HERS bathroom. Look at all this space. Takes on an L shape and just extends the entire length. You can almost just hide in this corner and not even see the front door to enter this closet. It's insane. Another really cool thing, the details in this closet, we have these linear skylights, two of them that bring in some natural sunlight, so it's not all about just the recessed lighting in here. A few built-in speakers as well, so while you're changing, you can just play your favorite tunes, just blast some hip-hop while you're putting your shoes on in the morning, you know? Doesn't get much better than that. 
but let's show you the bathroom across the hallway right here. So this would be technically considered the his, and they go with some darker, more masculine tones in all of the finishes in these countertops and plenty of storage space down below with all your drawers. Another oversized mirror going up to the ceiling and a pretty unique light fixture hanging down with some marble wrapped around that bulb up there too. We have your toilet on the left side, then the shower is pretty similar to the one we saw in the closet right next door. Larger chrome shower head up against this wall. And as I said, darker, more masculine tones in here. So we see the dark tile going from floor up to the ceiling, as well as up against the ceiling next to those two recessed lighting. Linear window looking directly out to the backyard. We can see the Sierra Towers as well in the distance and downtown LA from your shower, which is unreal. This is insane, especially from Beverly Hills. This lot is perfect. The views are amazing. I don't ever want to leave this place. We also have your thermosole built in steamer here in the shower as well and a vent above. So when it gets too steamy, you know, it doesn't just get trapped in here, which is always nice. Out of that shower directly across. This is pretty cool. We have these Fleetwood pocket doors that slide in and it is see-through. We have a glass pocket door to enter into the his closet, a little bit smaller than the hers because she probably has more clothes than him unless he's a big shoe guy. Then put your shoes to both sides of this center space and can you just imagine all your Nikes or whatnot, shout out to Nike, not sponsored, on both sides in here of this closet. Just like how we see in the marble finishes in the shower and on the countertops, we have darker wood in this closet as well. Two linear skylights once again and all the recessed lighting. This is your master balcony that overlooks the entirety of the backyard. The waterfall flowing into the pool that we saw earlier is unreal. Views of Beverly Hills, the Hollywood Hills, Sierra Tower once again, like I said, downtown, and then we just see Century City, Wilshire Corridor. We're getting it all from up here. This is the best of the best views in LA. I can't believe it. There's also not a cloud in the sky. Look up above. It is a perfect day out here. Best weather in the world, Los Angeles but keep following me this way. Let's show you the rest of this primary suite. So here we are in the primary suite, high ceilings, recessed lighting. We have this light fixture on the foot of your bed right here, sleek vents up above as well. There's also a living room section in your primary suite with a wet bar over in the corner, lots of wood built-ins, flat screen TV up against the wall above your fireplace with this stone clad on surrounding your fireplace in a tone that matches the wood tones surrounding it as well. Now let's leave the primary bedroom and check out some of the guest bedrooms up here. So we're walking by the staircase once again in the common section up here on your top level. Here's the first bedroom. This one, just like all of them, gonna have insane views, gonna have a balcony, some outdoor space. It's always nice to have outdoor space from your bedroom so you can wake up and just walk a few steps, take on the sunshine, take on the day. Ensuite bathroom with top of the line finishes as always, if you look in the shower, we have white linear tile in there, floor to ceiling. It's a nice contrast with a lot of the darker tones we've been seeing throughout the house, throughout some of the other bathrooms. I cannot get over these views. I can't wait to show you guys a rooftop deck at the very end of this because you're gonna be thoroughly impressed. But let's keep going on. Full walk-in closet in this one as well. As we keep moving, we run into the elevator that takes you up here too. Call it, call the elevator so you can go down to the basement or all the way up to the rooftop deck, which is also crazy. Take a turn to the right with me. Another bedroom, full walk-in closet. So directly across the hall, we have your last bedroom up here. Similar size, but a lot of natural sunlight is coming in through this window. We are not back facing, so you don't get the best views that you get from the other bedrooms. But this one, it's a little more private, a little more hidden. You do get a view of the spiral staircase leading to that rooftop deck. Walk-in closet once again, ensuite bathroom, but now let's check out the rooftop deck. All right, here we are. This is insane. Look at the views behind me, if you guys can see them already. This is your rooftop deck. I mean, nothing, nothing gets me going like a great rooftop deck with insane views of Los Angeles. First off, this section, it wraps around the entirety of all of those skylights, the windows that look down onto the common section, like I was saying, wood paneling throughout on the floors of your rooftop deck. You can just see your whole neighborhood. Everyone in this neighborhood, pretty much billionaires, guys. Look around, look at these houses. They're all just as nice as this one. One of the best areas in Beverly Hills. 
Can you just imagine having events, having parties, people are coming up the spiral staircase leading to your rooftop deck. Los, you got downtown in the distance, the hills. I mean, I've already said it all. You can't see the ocean. I can see a plane taking off from LAX right now. And like I said, there's a blimp in the distance. You don't see a blimp too often, so that's why I'm geeking out over a blimp. 25 in the world is insane. There's the pool again, the backyard. But that was everything, guys. Thank you so much for watching till the very end. Thank you to the whole team for letting me tour this incredible listing. Hit the like button, subscribe for plenty of insane property tours coming on this channel in the future, guys. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.